Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video. And in this video, I will cover EQ Bank earnings report, which released last night after the market closing bell. I will also update my valuation of EQ Bank stock with the new discounted cash flow calculator and the new financial data we received yesterday. There's a lot to cover today, so let's jump right into this. EQ Bank is the largest holding in our combined stocks portfolio. I personally have 200 shares of EQ Bank or a little bit over $15,000 invested in this company inside my TFSA account. And I really think this is one of my investments that will significantly outperform the market in the coming years. For those of you who are not familiar with EQ Bank, EQ Bank is the seventh largest Canadian bank by market cap and is a fast-growing digital bank and a competitor for conventional banks in Canada. EQ Bank reported their earnings last night, and I really like everything I see in this report. They absolutely crushed the earnings with record profits, deposits, number of new customers, and their fast-growing revenue. I have no idea what would be the market reaction to this report as I record the video before the market opened, but I guess it should be positive. This is the opening sentence of this report, which demonstrates how strong the numbers and guidance of EQ Bank are. Due to a strong year-to-date performance, EQ Bank increased and updated relative 12-month earnings guidance, including raising diluted EPS guidance to 18 to 22 percent from 10 to 15 percent. This is a massive revise to the upside in the guidance for the rest of the year. Andrew Moore, CEO of EQ Bank, mentioned the reason for this revision to the upside. By consistently applying our challenger bank philosophy, Equitable delivered record-breaking EPS and an return on equity performance that exceeded our own industry-leading long-term average. These are meaningful accomplishments that allowed us to increase earnings guidance. At a time when Canadians need more and better value from banking industry, Equitable Bank is provided, providing it. Whether it's our no-fee, high-interest EQ Bank digital services, our recently launched fully digital first home saving account or the loans we make to build much needed affordable housing, we are leaving our social purpose and in return rewarding our investors. Significant growth in our customer base, a strong customer engagement, and our plans to continue to bring innovation to the market give me well-founded confidence that we are set to thrive in the years ahead. Okay, <laughs> now let's look at the quarterly results. Adjusted Q2 revenue is up 72% year over year or 8% quarter over quarter. This is a massive growth in the top line. This comes with net interest margin expansion, which is extremely important for bank stocks. EQ Bank net interest margin is up to 1.99% or up 18 basis points year over year or 7 basis points quarter over quarter. So they not only grow their top line revenue fast, their margins are also expanding pretty quickly at the same time. Their adjusted return on equity is at 20.8%, which is fantastic. Adjusted diluted EPS is up 103% year over year or 32% quarter over quarter. Again, massive growth numbers. EQ Bank customers are up 31% year over year and deposits are up 9% year over year. In terms of the risk management, their total capital ratio is at 15.4% with CET1 ratio at 14.1. CET1 ratio is basically compares a bank capital against its risk weighted assets to determine its ability to withstand financial distress and 14 is much higher than minimum requirement for a bank in Canada. This is not the whole story yet. They increased their dividend yet again by 3% quarter over quarter or 23% year over year. They basically continue to increase the dividend every single quarter. EQ Bank dividend yield on cost for shareholders will be ridiculously high in the next 3 to 5 years if they can continue to increase it like this. All in all, solid numbers across the board. I'm happy with the core business performance, with the management team with their stand on innovation and with their attitude to reward shareholders. And therefore, I will continue to hold my shares in EQ Bank for the years to come. Now let's use the updated financial information from this report and plug them into my new discounted cash flow calculator and find the fair value of the stock. To start building the model, I imported a series of general parameters from EQ Bank earnings report, like the current share price, their revenue, 
their number of shares, their net debt, which is their short-term and long-term liabilities, minus their cash or cash equivalents, and their adjusted diluted earnings per share. I also put my expected rate of return to be 12.5% for this stock to give myself a little bit margin of safety. Now in this model, I will calculate the fair value of the stock by projecting their future earnings and then discount the terminal value and future cash flows minus the liabilities of the company back into the present value of the stock based on three different scenarios. In the bear case or the most negative case for the stock, the business will have a little bit of margin compression. I consider them to dilute you to raise capital capital by 5% and have almost 10% share-based compensation to reward executives and employees during this time, and be able to grow their revenue by 8% in the short term, 7% in the mid term, and eventually by only 6% in the long term. And I considered a terminal multiple of 6, which is in agreement with historical bear periods of this stock. For base case or normal case, I considered a little bit better margins in, in line with their historical average, a better revenue growth and also lower amount of share dilution and a terminal multiple of seven, which is historically an average multiple for a similar bank stock. Finally, in the bull case or the best possible outcome for EQ Bank, I consider them to have a little bit of profit margin expansion, only 4% share-based compensation, a 15% short-term, 12% mid-term, and 9% long-term growth, and a terminal multiple of eight, which is a bull multiple for this company. Now, if I hit cal the, the calculate button, the software will give me some in valuable information about this stock based on my assumptions. It gives you the intrinsic value of the stock in each scenario, and then it will provide you with a fair value estimate, which is around $88 per share for EQ Bank, and compared to the current share price, EQ Bank trades at almost 15% discount today. It is a buy according to the model. There you are guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed the video and my coverage of earnings report of Canadian companies, consider subscribing to the channel to see similar videos. I will wait for my other Canadian companies earnings report to hopefully cover those as well. But until that time, I see you guys in the next video. Farewell.